the event that a fault occurs when you're opening or closing the coupler, the OQLS system will warn you that there's an issue. In this fault mode, the warning symbol, pin, and lock bolt symbols will flash and the buzzer will sound continuously. There are a couple different reasons the system may go into this fault mode that I'll briefly explain, but I recommend that you read section 20 of your manual for a more thorough explanation of all the potential causes. Most commonly, the system will go into fault mode if you're unable to open or close the coupler in the time allotted. When disconnecting, this time begins as soon as you press both open buttons. This time varies and is dependent on the machine and the setup parameters. This error most commonly occurs if there is insufficient hydraulic pressure to open the coupler, causing the computer to think that the lock bolt is stuck. If it faults when trying to disconnect from an attachment, you must press close for one second and then wait five seconds and then restart the machine. If after restarting the controller is in normal operation mode, but then when trying to connect or disconnect it faults out again, it's possible that there's something mechanically or hydraulically preventing the locking bolts from operating normally. It is also possible that one of the sensors is not sending a signal to the main unit when it's supposed to be. You can test the sensors by placing a piece of steel directly on the front of the sensor and having somebody in the cab watch the controller to make sure that the corresponding LED is lighting up. If you do find a faulty sensor, check that the connections are tight, then check that the cable and the sensor are not damaged. If you do find a damage, replace it immediately. If the controller is still in this fault mode immediately after restart, or if all the lights on the controller panel go out or go out at irregular intervals, there's likely an issue with the main unit getting a CAN signal from the stick unit. To verify that the main unit is getting communication properly from the sensors and the stick unit, check the stick unit. There should be two LEDs, one that is solid green showing that it's getting power and one that is flashing green showing that it's communicating with the main unit. If you're seeing no LEDs or a red LED, uh, there's a good chance you either have a short in your can line or a short in one of your sensor cables. If this is the case, you're going to want to shut down your machine and disconnect both cables. Now restart your machine. And if you're now getting two lights, you know that the CAN and stick unit are good and the issue lies with the sensor. To determine which sensor, shut down the machine again, connect one sensor, then start up the system again. If the system now stops working and it goes into fault mode, the sensor that's defective has been found and it's one that's plugged in. Otherwise, shut down the machine, reconnect the second sensor, and then start up the system again. If all the electronics are operating correctly, you're going to want to make sure that the hydraulic system is operating correctly as well. To verify that the valves are operating the coupler are performing correctly and supplying pressure to the oil quick, watch the lock open hoses running down the top of the stick or coming directly off the lock open valve. When pressing the open button, you should visibly see the hydraulic line jumping due to the increase in pressure. If it's not visible, you can install a pressure gauge in the guide block mounted below the H-link. If you've determined there is no hydraulic pressure getting to the coupler when trying to disconnect and the controller is not in fault mode, there may be an issue with the valve. The valve can be manually overridden by pressing the override button on the bottom of the spool. If you've determined you are getting hydraulic pressure to the oil quick, you most likely just have a stuck pin that needs to be worked loose. If this is the case, we have a video on our channel for that as well.